All right, guys, what is going on? Hope you guys are having a good day. It is a hot and steamy one here at RV Nation in Ohio. Actually, inside the camper, it feels like it's about 110, so I'm going to be breathing heavy and sweating like a piglet. But today, I've got an awesome destination camper for you. It's the 2023 Salem Villa 42FK. It's an awesome front kitchen model with dual lofts up top. It is pretty darn sweet if you guys are in the market for a destination you know, RV. My contact information is down in the description, phone number, email, all that good stuff. And if you guys like RV videos, consider hitting that like and subscribe. You know, I'm out here sweating, making shopping easier for you guys. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get started. Again, 2023 Salem Villa 42 FK. And this thing got a makeover here for the 2023. You're gonna see different cabinets, different flooring, it's lighter, it's brighter, it feels bigger, you know, than it already is. I mean, check out the size of this thing. It is absolutely massive. Uh, I'm going to start on the inside. We're going to do this thing in about probably 20, 25 minutes, something like that. Uh, but right up front, what you're going to see here is I got the rock guard up. This just came from the manufacturer. There's actually big bay windows there that I'll show you, you know, here on the inside. But did want to point that out. It'll be a little bit darker in there than normal. Obviously, I got the lights on and the camera does a pretty good job. But thought that was important enough, you know, to uh, to show off. This is the fiberglass exterior. You can get it with the aluminum uh, siding. You know, you'll save yourself probably about twelve, thirteen hundred bucks, something like that. You know, doing it that way. But um, yeah, right here as you walk in, you got the steps going up into the loft. You got your bathroom, and the bedroom there behind me. But since this is a front kitchen model, I figured, you know, I would start off in the front. But right away, if you guys are familiar with this brand, the flooring is awesome. So this is their brand new floor. They're also doing this in their cruise lights and their Salem's. I'm not sure about the Salem FSX, but I would assume so. Haven't seen one yet, but it's got this nice little checkered pattern right there. You know, pretty darn sweet. And then the kitchen does a really good job of showing off, you know, the new backsplash. Don't quite know if the countertops can't recall, uh, but Boom, cabinets are all light and bright. This is the bay window I was referencing right here. So it's just not as big as a difference as I thought. I forgot that this had the front kitchen in there. I thought it was the 42 FLDL, which I'll also be posting a video of here soon. But normally that's obviously a window and you got your nightshade. But it's pretty cool that they put, you know, some extra lighting in there. Backsplash is going to be a little bit different. But this is obviously where you get the cooking done. And I love it because it's got one... Plenty of floor space. I mean, check out all that room. You got the accent lighting that looks really nice at light. It looks really nice now. Uh, but I think at night, it gives this nice little glow. You know, when you're coming in to get a little midnight stack at this absolutely massive LG refrigerator. Stainless steel, big boy. Better than the one that's in my home. Probably better than a lot of people watching in their home. This thing is legit. It is a residential refrigerator. I believe it's a 20 cubic foot. Uh, so that thing is freaking awesome. But you got your little cooking station right here. You got a good size Furion oven. You know, one fitting for a camper of this size in the Army that you're going to be cooking for. And then you got your three, uh, three stovetop burner popping up right there. So pretty nice. Check out all the counter space that you have. So a lot of counter space in this. An absolute ton of cabinets, you know, which I love. And then right here behind this door... You got yourself a pantry. Uh, there is a light up here as well. I'm not going to click that on, but you know, as you can see, you can fit in you know a good amount of you know whether it be storage or food, you know whatever you want to put in there. You know, there's a good amount of space. I won't open the refrigerator today. It's locked up in the travel mode, and quite frankly, everyone knows what the inside of a refrigerator looks like. But check out the storage that's up there, and it goes all the way across. It is joined up there all the way at that wall. So you open up right here. You got yourself your microwave. It's got a pizza mode. Huh, well, I'll be darned. Show off the guns, baby. And if you guys do like RV videos or like my style, like what I'm doing, or just flat out like campers, if you guys would consider that like and subscribe button, 
you know, it greatly helps me. And again, you know, I am in uh, a sales position here at RV Nation out in Ohio, and I would love the opportunity. Save you some money, see what we can do, maybe drum up some business, you know, for each other. Along this backsplash, you got this window, you have outlet and outlet. To the left and to the right of the oven here, you got more storage. That's actually a pretty big storage. And it looks like your low point drain was there as well. And then you got three of those bad boys. The bottom one being a hair deeper. More outlets right here. More countertop space. You got your high-rise faucet. Doing some disharoonies. Got this little drying rack, little noodle thing. Right there with your double bowl stainless sink. And then underneath... You have a lot more storage, and then you also have some access to your plumbing, which is always nice. Over here, you got a nice, tall slide for your dinette. This is where you sit down, eat some breakfast, maybe read a book, you know, overlook the views. This is on the campground side, you know, so that's pretty cool. You don't always get that, you know, right here, just getting those big old views. It also doubles up as an emergency exit, so you just push and pop, and you guys are getting out of here. Each one of these also comes with the day shade as well. That bad boy's a little clicker light. So turn that on or off. But I think that's pretty neat. You know, I'm six feet tall. And you can see there is plenty of head height. I'm saying probably like what? Six, 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 eight, something around there. As we're heading into the, what I would call the living room portion of it. You have another big, awesome window for you. It's also an emergency exit window. But this is where you're going to be sitting down, spending the nightlife, maybe watching a movie on a rainy day. You know, you have this awesome sized TV that comes with outlets and USBs there underneath. So that way, if you have to plug in any of your devices, you are good to go. You also have the Furion sound system. So that thing gets absolutely bumping. There's going to be zone one and two. Uh, that'll be inside and outside. It also has an HDMI port and a USB, really everything that you could possibly need. And then right under there, you have your Furion 36-inch fireplace. That thing gets absolutely roasted at 5,100 BTUs. You couldn't ask for more. This camper is absolutely massive with a ton of headspace, but I fully believe that that fireplace is more than capable of heating You know this entire front area and probably at least the front end of this loft right here uh, for the kiddos, You know, no problem. So it'll save you a lot of money on propane on something that could, quite frankly, you know, eat it up here pretty quick. Opposing slides in this model. So you have a slide here. Then you have a slide here for more sleeping. If the double lofts are not enough, which you will see here soon, but essentially there's going to be two twin beds on this side, two twin beds on the other side. If that's not enough, both of these will pull out, make about a full size bed, meet up near the middle. You know, and you're good to go. Sleeping even more people. And again, they have absolutely massive windows all throughout. So good views, you know, keeps it more open for you. You know, there's even another window right there. All of them are emergency exits for the most part. All of them that you can open to aid on to a cross breeze and keep it flowing on a nice fall day. You know, you're good to go. And all of them, again, have that nightshade. And... They still got the same clearance as the one with the dinette. So this thing is not short of pretty awesome large features. Whew, it is getting roasted in here. I wish I could turn on the fan, but I'm just on a jump pack, so I'm just sweating things off that I can't see on YouTube. Right here, you got yourself your fan. Keep that air circulating. Give yourself a nice little homey feel to it. Give you a view here of this loft. I'll give you a better one when we get up there. But it's pretty cool, and I do promise you, the kids will not put their head up into those bars and scream, Mom, 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 trust me, I'm a salesman. Wouldn't steer you wrong on that. You also have this little curtain that you can spread out, you know, and block them out. We're coming around through. Again, more windows, more windows, a sliding glass door. Again, like I said, this just came from the factory, so you have the sticker for the slide lock, which is... Laying right there just keeps the slides, you know, nice and tight there while you're driving. But this is going to be, you know, your kind of your control center. So you have your slide in and out. You have this dimmer switch, which what you do is you hold on to it. So 
starts dimming, and then it gets brighter. Yeah, and then of course, it's just a little touch, tap, and you guys are turning it on and off. Ceiling fans, slide in and out. This is going to be your other slide there for the front, all in one central area, as well as the place where you control you know, your heat and electric. Right here is going to be your bathroom. This is your one and only bathroom, one of the few drawbacks here of this destination campers. It doesn't have a half bath, but quite frankly, I don't know where you would put it. You still have that checkered flooring, big old shower, tons of storage. That backsplash is looking super nice in here. And then you actually have a pretty good amount of uh, counter space in there for a bathroom. Place for your toothbrush. And then a little pull-out drawer. And then underneath, you got that nice little rack right there. That's an added touch. I like how they left that open-ended. I think that's nice. Place for a towel. Even the lights are pretty, quick, pretty cool. They're pretty modern. And then the shower, pretty good size. You got the tri-slide glass door, which is always nice. Then you got that little nook where you can sit down or, you know, hike, hike a leg up to, you know, do some shaving, do whatever you got to do. But, um, yeah, pretty slick. Right up here, you got this little metal grate that you can see. And that's gonna be where your fan is. So you can turn on your fan, you know, get some of the, uh, get some of the steam out. And then before we head up the stairs and show you that, let's go ahead and show you the, show you the bedroom. So windows, windows, windows. You got one over here, one over there, another one out the back. And then one above this absolutely massive dresser, which is awesome. You also got your fuse box right there. But let me show you kind of the size of this, just so you can kind of envision, you know, putting all your, your clothes in there for a week-long trip. Or maybe, you know, if you drop this down at like a Cumberland Lake or something like Cumberland, something like that, Lake Norris. You know, you have plenty of stuff, you know, room and storage that you can do. You also have plenty of foot space to get around the bed in its entirety. couple more drawers and then some more space uh, for some hanging items USB and outlet and you also have a little reading light right there storage up above and even these little windows right here you know have that day shade or that nightshade rather I'm sorry Okay, so this is the only thing I don't like about this room is this door. For some reason, it butts up against the corner of this bed, but it is prepped for a washer and dryer. I would imagine if you probably install that, uh, it's going to be very common to remove this door, you know, in its entirety. Uh, that is just a kind of goofy setup right there. But if that's going to be one of the few flaws on a camper, you know, you can't really hate on it too much. You got the little shelf. Like I said, it is fully prepped for a stackable washer and dryer. You got the outlets and then your hot and cold water, you know, along with all your plumbing, you know, all that good stuff right there. Now, let's head up the stairs. Before we do, right here, you have your central vac. So, you know, you put all your dirt right there. Goes on out. Two sides to this loft. You got a taller side and then you got a shorter side. So, this is going to be the shorter side. You got the teddy bear mattresses, real nice and comfortable. You can also, you know, kind of doodle if you want. I'll put like a little heart there. But that's what I'm saying, where the kids won't stick their heads out there and scream, 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 bloody murder for you. Outlets and USBs and a little window, so that way you can charge all your devices and still get a little touch of the outside. And just in case something happens, this is an emergency exit as well. And then this side, like I said, is going to be a little bit bigger, a little bit more headspace, you know, maybe for the bigger kids or, you know, maybe one of your buddies that comes over that you don't like as much. Put them right up here. Let me get in there. But some bigger mattresses, you know, more space. You can easily sleep 
you know, probably four over on this side, you know, at least with my kids, I know they would climb up here like a little fort, but there are two USBs and two outlets right there. I presume there's going to be some on the other side as well, uh, but I'm not going to be crawling back in there today. You also have some more outlets right here and more outlets right there, as well as two emergency exit windows. And then on this side, right back here, you're going to be prepped up for a TV so you can install a TV. It's also prepped for the King Wi-Fi two outlets and your cable connections. And then you got this thing right here, you know, for uh, some storage for them, some hanging storage right there. So pretty cool. I think that about wraps it up here on the inside. Again, this was the 2023 uh, Salem Villa 42 FK. I'll give you one more kind of look, you know, through the camper, kind of a little speed run for you. If you guys made it this far, if you don't mind dropping a comment, saying hello, maybe liking, subscribing, all those things would be pretty darn special. And if you guys have any suggestions for future content, you know, I'm here to hear it. It's been a good start to the month. It's only the second. I think I sold one yesterday, got lined up probably about three or four. A couple of them actually saw my videos, which is always nice. Uh, one guy's actually reached out to me because of the videos, but it's always nice when you hear stuff like that. You know, hard work paying off. One more peek here at the bedroom. Oh, I forgot to mention too, there is some storage that's underneath there. I just didn't want to lift up the bag so you got that big uh, TV box, but there is some storage there as well. Tell you what, it's 90 degrees outside and it is 90 has never felt better. That camper was roasting. All right, so when we head outside, all of these slides right here are going to be slide topper prepped. So basically you can tell that it is because it's got the Solera cap right there. And what a slide topper is, is it essentially just goes on from right here to right there. And it's a piece of awning, a piece of canvas you know, that goes up there and prevents any type of tree branches from falling on top of your slide or water, sun, anything like that, kind of beating up that. Uh, but they're really nice. They're $700 a piece to install. It's money well spent if you got it. This is a dual axle unit. You got a big old awning right here, which will also be down in the specifications. Again, this is the fiberglass exterior. You can get it in the aluminum. You know, some people prefer the fiberglass. Others don't really care. You know, save the money if that's you. You got your outside speaker, so that's going to be zone B on that Furion system. You also have an area where you can plug in for your cable. And then you got your outlets right there, you know, to hook up a TV. Coming around the back, nothing really to show off. You do have a cable and satellite connection, you know, back there as well. And if you would like, you could probably take out one of those center lights and put on an observation camera. Uh, if you want to see what's going on behind you, 550 smackaroonies, suction cups onto your windshield. Uh, so that way when you're driving, you can see what's going on. I know a lot of people don't transport these too often, but they are massive. So if you put this up, you know, in winter and pull it out in spring, that would might be something that you're interested in. Again, slide topper prepped on all the slides. See if this is open. Yep. That's going to be that storage. It's underneath the bed. Got your tanks right there. That's where we're going to be dumping some stuff. There's also going to be some more right up here as well. That's going to be your hot water heater. And as you can see, it is a big boy. So that way you're not going to run out of hot water. Your black tank flush. Uh, so essentially that's going to be a sprinkler system there for inside your black tank. Really helps kind of knock off some of that buildup like that toilet paper and things like that that may stick. Uh, that's going to be your fresh water drain and your low point drain. Also show off uh, the, the underbelly. As you can see, it's all buttoned up for you. Your city water connection and your fresh water connection. Sewage holding tank waste holding tank, sewer connection outlet.
But I think that about wraps it up. Let me show you the weight sticker on this thing. I guess real quick before we get out of here. Look at that. 13,131 pounds. That is incredible. This thing weighs more than most of your fifth wheels out there. Uh, that is awesome. That, that's crazy. These things are absolutely huge. But again, this was the 2023 with the updated cabinets, updated floor, you know, the all new look. Uh, but the 2023 Salem Grand Villa 42 FK, their front and kitchen dual loft model. My name is Hunter. Have a great day. See ya.